What's up, it's your girl Claudia Jordan. You might know me from the Foxhole or Reach Around Radio, and you are listening to A1 Hip Hop. This is the bonus with A1 Hip Hop with the one and only, the double luxurious, Claudia Jordan. How you doing? What's up? How you doing? Oh. feeling very well in your presence <laughs> because I know your history. I mean, I know you came from. Yes. Um, what brings you down to Houston for this fashion show? Well, I was asked to, to participate and support the charity. And, um, you know, I really, any kind of time there's a cause that's benefiting children, mm -hmm. I'm definitely going to be on board. And I love coming to Houston. The city of Houston has always shown me love. I always have fun here. I have family here. And I just, you know, I want to come and support. So I'm here. So they ain't feed you too much food to mess up your pretty figure, huh? They, they, they be trying to fatten me up a little bit. So I was hit, I hit the gym yesterday and today. I was like, cause I'm just counterbalancing what's gonna happen. Cause I know there's gonna be some drinks flowing tonight and right. probably some more soul food and more desserts. But I love, right. you can't come to the South and not eat the good food here. Like that's what you come here for. Right. So I'm, I'm not one of those girls that will starve themselves. Like I, 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 I get my food. Get it in, right. Get right. it in, yes. Right. Now, I'm not gonna say your age because okay. I mean age and number the number, no, but. No, no, no. You know, I'm my age. I mean, I mean, I'm 40. But, you know, I'm but but four is a new 30. You know what I'm saying? We gonna take it back. 40 is a new 25. What do you mean? Say it again. 40 is a new 25. I'm hanging on. Look, I just won the VH1 Bikini Awards today. All the people in the industry they had, and I won out of everybody, which I'm very proud of because I am 40. But you know, I feel like people think that when a woman gets over 30 years old, even 27, she's She's old, she's right. damaged good, she's, it's a wrap. It's not a wrap. You take care of yourself, you eat right. Look at Halle Berry. Look, Halle Berry is 46 years old, about to be, maybe 47. She looks amazing. Right. Stacy Dash, the list goes on and on. Take care of yourself, and that's just a number. And, you know, I don't believe, I don't buy into these, uh, these ideas that, you know, it's a wrap after 30. It's not. No. No, I, I I'm told you. I'm in my prime right now, I think, so. I mean, I, I would think you're 25 walking up the street <laughs> right now. See, that's why these little young boys keep bothering me. <laughs> yeah. I mean, you know, I, I, hey, she's single, so that means I got a chance. You know, <laughs> you know, I'm just saying, I'm just saying. <laughs> Now, I remember you doing your thing with the Foxhole show, and me personally misses it. I remember you was talking off air. When is Jamie going to bring that back, and when are you going to, because I remember you did the radio show with the girls as well. Yes, um, I had the Claudia Jordan show, Reach Around Radio, the Foxhole. So there's been talks with Jamie Foxx. He's talking about possibly, like, I know he wants to, like, re, I don't get the Foxhole back on. So I actually was going to call him this week and hit him up and just talk to him about some things because I think we're missing a big opportunity. People love that show. They still listen to old shows. It's been like three, four years since we have, we've been on and people still want to do that. They want to hear that show. Right. So, I mean, there was a time where Comedy Central was talking to us about doing a, a cartoon of us. It was about to explode, but, you know, a lot of things a lot of things went south. You know what? When things changed, when that whole Molly Cyrus thing happened. And lo and behold, we... You took, the, you took an interview question I was going to ask. We Good segue. We predicted the future. You know what I mean? I mean, I, we didn't know how young she was at the time, but... Right. You know. What you, speaking of that, what you think of the whole MTV Miley Cyrus? I got my opinion on it. So, I mean, you've been a black woman, strong black woman. What you think of that? Twerking and the whole. You know thing. what? I shouldn't be surprised anymore when mainstream and white America takes things from the black that they think represents the black culture and that makes them edgy. Right. Like, I, if she thought that made her edgy and cool, she's sadly mistaken. She looked like a, a fool. Uh, she looked like she didn't have a choreographed routine. You know, if if. If you're gonna twerk and put make that part of your routine, please practice. Right. Because she was high. <laughs> right. And just 
didn't have a routine. She just went out there and just acted a, a goddamn fool. Right. And the woman is engaged, and I heard that her fiance is really embarrassed, as he should be. She. I feel Good like luck to that. I don't think it's gonna work out after that. She's a Disney star. There's right. nothing wrong with being a Disney but star. But she is young too, which is not making excuses either. 20 years old, and she has legions of young women that look up to her, and their parents approve of that. Right. So you have to take that into accountability, like you know. When I go out tonight, I know there's a lot of young girls that look up to me. I can't get on the bar and twerk and take my top off and act a fool. Right. I can't do that because I make my money because people like me for that role that I'm in. So why would you go and just be a bad, a negative role model? Right, right. I mean, everybody's watching. I mean, you know, I mean, some people may, may be looking at it as a marketing thing for her to get away from the Disney, but you know. Why would you want to get away from a Disney? Let Disney put me on. I will be Disneyed out to the day. To <laughs> right, right. Those, I'm 40 years old. Look at, okay, Raven Simone. She's a Disney girl. She's never acted miss in a Great movie. opinion. She's raised like, I think I think she's earned over a, like a billion dollars for the Disney franchise. What is wrong with that? Right. Like you'd rather trade that in and you're, I, I like having, I would prefer to have a good reputation over, oh, did you see her twerking on stage? Like I don't, that's cool for like a it's week. It's just more of a fad. When you're done being trend, trending on Twitter, now what? Right, that's it. Disney will not mess right. with her anymore. Right, right. Acting like that. Now, we're we going to get off the this, off this strong note, you know Probably what I'm saying? Idiot. <laughs> can't twerk. I twerk better than you, and I really can't twerk. So, yeah. She, she keeps it in the bedroom, laid in the bed, and it's in the bed. I guess. <laughs> now, I see um, you getting it in with the Sleepy Hollow show as well. Yeah. What, what's the What's the issue? Um, what you doing a part of the show? Um, well, I actually work with AT and T, uh, and they uh, Sleepy Hollow will air on the AT and T networks. Like AT and T, you can have cable with AT and T. So I do a travel show with them called the Buzz Summer of Adventure or the Buzz Show. And I do various assignments, and that was just one of my assignments. I had to go to the set and interview them. And the show comes out September 16th. It's going to be a huge, huge hit. Shout out to Orlando Jones. I saw that. Hilarious. And he plays a serious role in the show. Yeah. And I'm, I'm very proud of him. But it's going to be a really different show. There's nothing like it on television. So that's just one of my assignments. Uh, we covered Fashion Week. I bungee jumped out the Stratosphere Hotel. Uh, I, you? I have. It's on. It's online. I parasailed. It's a shark and festive waters. It's a really cool show, especially being a black woman doing an adventurous show, getting my hair wet. You don't really see us doing that. <laughs> I'm, I'm breaking barriers. You know what I'm saying? You gotta break barriers to get your hair wet. I'm breaking, my, I'm breaking barriers. <laughs> and I wasn't complaining about getting my hair wet. So. Yeah, I, mean, I saw you on Instagram with the working out before you got here. So that means, hey, yes. it is what it is. I work out. Yeah, I get it in. It's now important. we're gonna close it out um, on A1 Hill. Pop, we represent classified quality and you definitely represent that what makes you a1's classified quality I think because I don't take shortcuts I've been in the game for like 20 years and I haven't gotten to that level yet that I want to yet but I've built a steady foundation and I think if you're the type of person that doesn't take shortcuts that means you have integrity and if you have integrity you will be able to have longevity these flash in the pan chicks that come on the scene they're hot for like six months whatever show your ass twerk whatever that's cute for like the summer, but you, there's no longevity in that. Right. And I, I just want to bring back the girls that have integrity, kind of have some morals about themselves, and care about the people that are watching, especially black women. I'm tired of us looking jacked up on television. We, I'm tired of it. Like, we need more Michelle Obamas and less, Preach. And less cat stacks. You know what I mean? That's what we yeah. need. Hey, and it's not, listen, I'm not hating on her before everybody jumps on my throat about it. It's the truth. But that's what we need. Like, we need people that kind of... Strong world role models. More good role models. Let's have standards again. Like, why, let's bring it back. Call me old-fashioned, but that's, that's that's my little corny dream. So, the the new dream would be the bonus and Claudia Jordan soon we will be getting married just from this interview. I mean, hey, you, you know... No, I get rumors with every guy I take pictures with. Uh oh. Just Google it. It's like every guy I've ever taken a picture with. She, I'm, I'm dating. Or football whatever. player. And all every that. listen. If I stand near a football player, oh, I'm know. dating him. And I'm like, I. Just, huh? if you, I know. I need to just hire a boyfriend or something so I could just. They could just stop with all that nonsense. <laughs> <laughs> we out here, guys. They want hip hop, Claudia Jordan. All right. Hit me on my website, therealclaudiajordan.com. That's right. <laughs>
but it's not the case for the kids over in Africa. They don't have the uniforms to go to school and they can't get an education. And I think no one should be denied an education, don't you agree? Yes. So this charity, every, the money is going to go to you know, provide some uniforms to deserving children over there and they can further their education and make a better life for themselves. So if you guys want to donate more, please go to faceafrica.com and please donate and be generous. And you know, the money that you're donating definitely goes to a great and fabulous cause. I came from Celebrity Apprentice, so charity is something that's very important to me. And um, I hope to go to Africa one day and see so many happy faces with these kids that we're all here to help. So with that being said, I hope you guys are in the mood and ready for a fabulous fashion show. Yes! Welcome to the experience, the fashion show, and I hope you enjoy. And remember, faceafrica.com. Let's help those kids, okay? Thank you very much.